that will be our intro for this uh, for this time, I suppose, because it's uh, February eighth, two thousand fifteen, and this is Overgrowth Weekly ninety one with Q and A number seven. My name is Lucas Ochoan. Hey guys, I'm Anton Real. David Rosen. I'm Aubrey Sir. I dub nope. is quiet. Uh oh. I'm on push the dock. <laughs> 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 and I'm Ian. Also, sweet. Like dual personality going on there. Ian, push to talk, I dubs, as they call you. Yep. <laughs> right. Uh, so, uh, let's see. I'm, I'm just gonna. <clears throat> I'm looking through the questions there, and uh, we got actually a question that uh, we should probably take right away uh, from uh, Sly Can. Uh, he asks, actually, this is a, this is a new question. We have uh, a bunch of questions from uh, previously, but he asks, uh, my question is, why are you guys scripting over certain questions? And uh, the reason for that is that we pick out the most, well, the questions that we find most interesting, pretty much, and then we talk about those. Because we think that'll make a more interesting show. I think the other thing is that we try and find questions that sort of summarize the entire question. You know, sometimes there are specifics that maybe get covered in our topics. And then we also skip over questions that we've answered um, at least once. Although there are definitely some we've answered a few times. So we skip over those as well. Yeah. It's a lot that goes into it. Basically, when I, when I think about this, I'm like, what what questions do I want answered, and what questions does it seem like people want answered, and then I can try to combine those. Mm -hmm. Try to get the most good questions. But we've had, um, I've been considering and talking to talk to Windlord about this earlier, and you and I talked about this too, Anton, about maybe trying to make uh, the show about. Uh, fewer questions so we have fewer questions and just talk about them for longer so that's maybe a thing that we could do i don't know what would be most uh what people would want really that's uh the main thing i suppose yep yeah right now it's kind of question that we've been skipping what did you say david <clears throat> i was wondering if there's a particular question that we've been skipping that sly can might want us to answer yeah, if, if there is one, I don't know if he is in the chat right now, doesn't look like he is. But yeah, absolutely, if people think we're skipping questions, they should uh, let us know. But like I said, if we skip the question, we'll probably skip it for good, for like, well, not necessarily a good reason, but like some <laughs> reason at least. Uh, that right. might probably still apply. So. Well, the other thing that I've noticed is there's been people who have asked the same question uh twice in the in the um comments before we were able to answer it so we didn't even get to that question and they they asked it again so we may not be skipping your question we may just not have gotten to it yet um we do have a fairly long list although um sometimes we get through a lot <laughs> yes so. you were gonna say something ian yeah and no, i was just gonna say that like it'll be much less like a checklist you know if if uh <laughs> if there's not you know question after question after question oh sure that makes sense you know mm -hmm. so maybe we should try that for this time and we'll just see what happens so we'll just pick one really like mm, interesting question and try to talk about it or like a few of them maybe i don't know <laughs> <laughs> um like this one, like I think uh, this is uh, a good thing. So, like, if if people have uh, uh, these kinds of this kind of feedback, um, they can totally just you know, if they want to send an email, do that, or just a comment works too. Or if you jump on the IRC, maybe you can catch me, especially during weekends, because I don't actually use my home computer during the weekdays. So on the weekends, I'll be in the IRC, and you can um, catch me there if you want to have like a conversation. One on one, and uh, that's the Wolfire RC. Hashtag Wolfire in uh, <laughs> rc.wolfire.com. Um, cause I love that shit. I love the feedback. It's so useful. <laughs> it definitely is. Bleh. All right. I can't speak. 
Everyone makes fun of me when I tell them that I use IRC. <laughs> <laughs> Why? It's the best. It's, yeah. But it's also kind of old, you know? <laughs> yeah, it is. But I mean, there's nothing like it out there uh, to me. Like, what would I do otherwise? If I want to get in the chat with all of the, like, 60 other people in the world fire chat. There's... <laughs> it, it's true. Yeah. It's the best, man. It's the best thing. Some, some things come back all the time. Uh, I was just talking to uh, someone in their IRC about P good, and I was like, "Oh, people used to say, <laughs> people used to say P good when I was in high school, and uh, it's somehow oh. it's come back." Wow, <laughs> I had no idea that was ever a thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I I didn't realize it came back until two weeks ago, and and you said it, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard I'm kind of saying it ironically, though. Moo HK brought it up to me, and I was like, "Ah, oh, that's pretty, pretty fucking lame." <laughs> you, you hipster. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's pick this question. Um, Afra zero seven three two asks, "Will we ever see some sort of Assassin's Creed Batman Arkham style fighting with counterattacks, kill moves, criticals, and kill streaks?" Because at the moment, combat is quite hard, especially if you're up against someone who has a weapon and you don't. Double kills, drop kills, and other kill moves like that would be amazing if they were implemented into Overgrowth. So, what I see here is someone who does not really understand what Overgrowth is about. Um, so, I think it could be an interesting topic to talk about. To, in, it's an interesting topic to talk about. If you can well, I know David talk. really likes those games, like especially the um, the Batman games. I haven't played them, so I can't really comment about this. Yeah, I One think the big difference is that Overgrowth is kind of meant to be a little more like a mirror match. Like you're not magically stronger, faster, better than the other guys you're fighting against. So if you're a rabbit, you're fighting some other rabbit, and you're both soldiers, then you should be roughly equally strong. And if they have a weapon, then they're way stronger than you. So it should be really hard. But we might at some point have some mismatched levels if you just want to like vent some aggression or something. Like if you're a wolf just like wading into a rabbit village. But in general, I think it'll still be pretty hard. If we're going to do kill moves, I uh, request being able to punch dudes' eyes out with your thumbs and <laughs> like as a wolf to disembowel them, like disembowel a person with your bite, like bite them in the belly. Mm. Just eat them them. alive. (laughs) Basically, yeah, but like starting with their belly so that they don't like die right away. So like like if we're gonna do kill moves, we may as well get serious about it. Yeah, isn't that what the Tasmanian devils do? They they go for the rear end first and work their way up. (laughs) They spin around, man. They spin around. (laughs) (laughs) Um, maybe you need a Tasmanian devil kill move. What is a Tasmanian devil? Uh, they're little rodents from Tasmania, which is a... Or I guess they're not rodents, they're marsupials, I think. On an island on the south side of Australia. And if you ever watch, like, Bugs Bunny, they had that Tasmanian devil that spun around in a circle like a little tornado, and he was always sticking out his tongue and going... Pfft. I have no yes. idea what you're talking about. Hey, oh you my god. Know, you don't know Taz? Oh, oh Taz. Taz is a Tasmanian. You just call him Taz. Yeah. I, know, I had him on my bed sheets a few years yeah, ago. Yeah, see, everybody knows yeah. Taz. Taz. Taz and Tweety, man. You can't. The, I don't think I've ever seen Taz on TV, of, of but culture. I had him on my bed sheets. That's how I know him. Hmm. Sticking out his tongue, giving you a raspberry on your bed sheets? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Every night. Um. But yeah, talking about uh, these games, uh, like the Batman Arkham, Batman Arkham style games, I think they're really good. I played most recently the um, Mordor game, Shadow of Mordor, and it's uh, like it's so cool. I can totally see some of those finishing moves that they have in there, like the st- same style of things. But like you said, Aubrey, have it like be for reals, because the thing in those games is like you just chop the heads off of like the orcs and like chop them in half and like all that stuff but overgrowth it's much more i feel like it's much more pared back than that 
But you could do some really cool stuff, like a wolf could maybe like rip someone in half or something. I don't know, that could be cool. But all that stuff also adds to development time. But I just feel like Overgrowth is would be a perfect game to have a lot of really cool finishing moves with all the brutality that's already in it. Well, I mean, the problem with one of the things about Overgrowth is that if you get a good hit, like the first move is the finishing move, right? Like it's exactly. It would just if we add finishing moves, there'll just be more moves. They won't be like, oh, you wear them down or something. It would just be like, no, you hit them. If you hit a person in the neck with a sword, their head will come off if you use sufficient force and your sword is sharp. Like that's how it works in real life. Mm -hmm. So it's one thing we did in Lugaru is I had it so. Um, when you hit with a knife, if that knife hit would have killed them, then you do a different animation for it, where you kind of like stick it in their neck instead of just slashing yeah. at them. So that might be one thing we might try. I remember that felt that feels really good in Luguru when you do that. Mm -hmm. You just jump on it, it's like, tsk, tsk, and then they're dead. It's like <laughs> mm -hmm. that's a good fin, good paired back finishing move. That's like fast, effective, and feels really good. Right. So that might I think be nice for knife fighting, because right now the last hit in a knife fight feels pretty anticlimactic. They yeah. Sort of fall over. Right. I I think that another another big difference between the the types of of moves uh, in Overgrowth and the ones in um, the Arkham series or Assassin's Creed is that they they are much more based on timing, whereas. Uh, I feel like overgrowth is much more about position, and even in like the Arkham series, sometimes you'll be fighting a group of guys, and maybe you hit backwards, and all of a sudden you jump across the screen and kill someone off screen that you didn't even know was there, um, and but that keeps your kill streak going. And do you find that um, those types of um, scenarios, like, do you feel like that gameplay type of sort of timing versus um, position makes a difference. Well, I always felt like that that kind of combat was really just all about looking cool. Like it kind of, the first game I saw was Sands of Time. I think that invented that whole style of fighting, where you basically press attack, and then if you're far away, then he'll like do a cartwheel, and then he does some automatic, awesome-looking attack. Or you could press counter at the right time, then you instantly kill them. That's more or less what Assassin's Creed did. And then Batman mixed it up a little bit by adding a couple mm -hmm. enemy types. So it's a bit a little bit more like a puzzle. And Shadow of Mordor did the same kind of thing as Batman, where there's a few different enemy types, so you have to at least pay attention. While in Assassin's Creed you can just keep pressing counter and you'll just win any fight in the game more or less. Mm hmm So in Overgrowth, like my core design philosophy is that the player should always be playing attention. And if they're not paying attention, then they should lose, <laughs> basically. So that kind of runs counter to the, the like one versus many looking really cool design idea. Yeah. OK. Um, I get, like what from what I understand of um, how it's supposed to work or whatever you want to say in Overgrowth is that, like you said, you you're on the same level as everyone else. In an Arkham, you kill a lot of people. Like you just like beat them. You're the super guy, but you're not that in the uh, in this universe. So that alone, yeah, like you're not supposed to be the cool guy. You can make a lot of you can do a lot of cool shit, but you're not the cool guy. Is what I feel like. Right. I, I think the other the other question that sort of comes up with that topic uh, relates to how you control um, what character you're currently attacking. Uh, I know that I've had an issue where you know a character has been knocked unconscious or dead and they fall to my feet, and I'm trying to attack a person still up and fighting, and I start kicking the person on the ground instead. Is <laughs> is that something that will be addressed. I know it's kind of a little off topic, but Oh yeah, for sure. We definitely need some kind of like priority prioritization method. So it could take a few things into account, like how threatening someone is and where the camera is pointing. You probably want to attack the guy you're looking at. But then it could also take into account like this guy's doing an attack that I could interrupt if I attacked him faster. Mm -hmm. And this guy is dead already. <laughs> so I probably don't want to 
kick him instead of the guy who's attacking me. So right now, it just attacks whoever is closest, which is not a r really a production-ready targeting scheme. Okay. One of the things I've only I have played Shadow of Mordor a little bit, uh, not a lot, and one of the things that I think stands out to me as pretty different is how, like, once you're engaged in combat, I mean, assuming you don't start combat by dropping onto somebody or something, it's basically the environment doesn't matter. You're just kind of in an open space and guys are just kind of circling around you and you're kind of doing your thing. And um, like an overgrowth, the environment is really critical and there's a lot of movement after you start the fight a lot of times. So I don't know. I feel like that's a major difference between the, the two styles. Yeah. Yeah. I'm... Uh, what, were you going to say something more, Ian? I was going to say uh, that it kind of just going off of Aubrey's point. It seems like in in Batman, typically, like I remember there being like a whole lot of enemies just constantly waiting around you to attack, and it it seemed like only one person would do it at a time. But that's completely different in Overgrowth. It's much more realistic, and I think it's probably best to stick with something like that because. You can pretty much get attacked simultaneously in overgrowth. And you will. And by the way, for those who don't know, both of these games, the Arkham games and the um, Shadow of Mordor game, they're essentially the same gameplay. So you can just intersha interchangeably talk about them when it comes to their combat. <laughs> if anyone was getting confused about that. <laughs> well, like, oh, um, I was actually confused. I didn't know that. <laughs> like... Um, one of the things that I think is like when I think of overgrowth, I'm kind of reminded of like samurai movies or like Conan or like, um, you know, Chinese Kung Fu movies. And um, like a lot of times in those movies, the protagonist wins not by being stronger, but by like using his environment or being more clever. And um, and so I think that overgrowth is just a lot better simulation of that kind of. Uh, fight rather than you know the typical Batman thing he's just way stronger than a, your average thug he's like a trained ninja with his super tech armor and he's just going to beat the crap out of just about anybody mm -hmm. um, yeah that's that's kind of what I went to when I uh, when I talked about how you're not the, the cool guy in the game yeah you're you're basically anybody I mean that is demonstrated by that you can play any of the other characters as you know, as that character or whatever, and then you're not any special, really. You have just the racial stuff, but that's about it. Which I think is really cool. I like I like that, but then I also like the other games. They're good for the, their reasons, you know. They feel yeah, a little Shadow more... Mordor was one Go of ahead. my favorite games of last year. Can you say that again, David? Shadow of Mordor was one of my games my favorite games of last year so i don't want to be like ragging on them too much it's just kind of a different style yeah makes sense cool e o right. <laughs> we should probably find something else i didn't find a question me while we were talking so i'm trying to find one now why don't we do this one from sprinkle 70 um who asks I care a lot about the culture of the different species in the game, and I'd love to learn more about the world. I love story, and I'm very curious about Lugaru, but he doesn't want to play it. Um, he's asking if you guys can have Lugaru as um, a story inside of Overgrowth, which I know we actually talked about in the past, um, but do you have any other um, ways to help people learn about the the culture and maybe the backstory of Lugaru. Um, I know we had the comics, which is a great place, but um, any intention of retelling Lugaru's story? Um, yeah, I think we'll probably actually be doing that for the next alpha Ooh. to port Lugaru into the Overgrowth engine and have the make sure all the camp campaign functionality is working and that we're all at feature parity. Wow, that would be That's, pretty sweet. Maybe that'll be good. <laughs> that sounds pretty pretty ambitious uh, project. 
um, I mean, I feel like it's close, and I know that we have mod versions of most of the Overgrowth, uh, I'm sorry, of most of the Lugaru challenge maps. Um, how much do you plan on having them be the same in terms of um, layout, things like that? Is it going to be like the game really recreated or kind of approximately created with the same storyline? I was thinking basically recreated exactly as much as we can in the different engine. Mm -hmm. Do I want to tweak? I keep wanting to tweak some things. Like I want to tweak the writing a little bit because mm -hmm. like my writing style is very different from when I was in high school. <laughs> Imagine that. But I also might just leave it the same. I'm not 100% sure on that. Well, in the original, kind of... make the three wolf level a little easier. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, no, I love the three wolf level. Leave it like it is. <laughs> no, no, don't leave it like it is. <laughs> make it harder. Make sure that they can make make sure that they can appear and disappear at will. And the three wolf <laughs> right. level. The three wolf level is that the final challenge level. Is that a level in the campaign? Both, I think. Both. Okay. Well, the the final. The final level in the game is the one where you go and kill the whole family, right? Mm hmm Isn't that more than three wolves, though? Yeah, it's, it's like, like a bunch six. Of small, yeah. Just two wolves. <laughs> That'll be spoilers for Sprinkle of 70. Yeah, it's Oops. true that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> we played the game so long ago, and I'm like, if I haven't ever played that, it's like... I know. Okay. Well, I know. Spoiler cast. <laughs> I uh, hadn't thought about it, but it's actually kind of a cool idea to go and write a comic that like runs parallel to Luguru. Like, you know, maybe Fiverr's like the main dude or, you know, tell the story from like the wolf's perspective or something. Mm -hmm. Might be cool. Yeah, that could be fun. I, I guess where I was going with the recreation of the game exactly is that some of the controls for Overgrowth are different than the controls for Lugaru. So, for example, in the very first, well, I mean, first of all, there's the tutorial, which seems like it doesn't quite make sense. But um, second is like when you're the first level, you're climbing up that giant stone thing to find your daughter. And this is in the demo, I think. So hopefully I'm not giving away too much. But there's a spot <laughs> where it tells you to crouch before you jump, because in Lugaru, crouching before you jumped... Um, you jump uh, then you jumped higher. So I mean, those those kinds of things. I guess that was my question: is Are you going to make try and make that same stone shape that she was sitting on, uh, the same types of valleys? It feels to me like with the current assets, you could make something. It could be like um, Lugaru Ultra HD or something. Yeah, basically. Like There's the definitely couch jump won't be there. You could still use the overgrowth mechanics, but it'll be as close as we can get okay yeah that climbing section could be reworked a little bit to tailor to the overgrowth movement mm -hmm. maybe it could be like a wall jump or something instead to get the, the extra heights um, right uh i had a question uh david if you did bring lugaru into overgrowth or at least the story and everything would how do you do the level select screen? Because that was one of my least favorite things in Lugaru. Uh, what would you do there? I'd want to make it easier to choose any any level that you've completed so far instead of just the next one. Lugaru, but it would would it be like a like a map how it was like tying from one place to another, and you just like kind of just bounce around, or would it like? I don't know, be more of like a list. Probably more like a list, though not 100% sure yet. Mm -hmm. um, I was thinking that about uh, I was thinking about um, the whole uh, like difficulty level between the games cuz I I played, you know, quite a bit of Luguru and uh, I've played Overgrowth since you know, there was Overgrowth. So I have no idea how hard the games are anymore. And I don't know how hard they are compared to each other either. Um, 
do you do you know about that david like do you think that when you've ported uh, the campaign will the campaign be much easier in in overgrowth than it was in luguri or will it be the other way around or like do you have any idea about that i think it should be pretty comparable though Lugaru had difficulty levels which overgrowth doesn't have yet so i'll probably have to add something like that so i think overgrowth right now is probably roughly equivalent to like hard mode of Lugaru. But it would be nice to have easier levels. Cool. Or easier modes, rather. I, I find that um, pretty interesting, because, you know, since I've played it so much, it's like, I, I actually don't know how hard the game is anymore. I'm like, I just freaking play it, I go in and kill a guy, it's like, okay. It's like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I'll have to do some testing, because I always have that problem. Which is why all of my games are way too hard. Mm. <laughs> you go back and try any of them. Mm. That makes sense. But again, that's that difficulty learning curve that I said I liked last week about your games. So it doesn't feel like it's all that far off, I should say. Fair so, enough. Um, this will probably be a question that we there is no there is no answer. It'll be when it's ready, but... Um, since, uh, you just released an alpha yesterday, um, or something like that, uh, mm -hmm. do you have any plans? Are you going to try and reach a deadline for when you get this Lugaru campaign in? Uh, are we looking at a, a longer break because you know that you're going to try and get the whole Lugaru campaign in? Well, the... Most time-consuming parts will probably be adding some of the features they don't have yet, like staff combat and fire. Okay. And tackling. <laughs> Maybe a couple other things like that. Wall kick! Add the wall kick! <laughs> and wall kicks would be cool. <laughs> but like, adding features is a lot easier to me than like refactoring the editor and fixing bugs and all that. So... It's hard to tell if it'll take longer or order. Though, we are doing this game jam right now, so we can't really get started on it until the 17th, probably. So, I mean, my my estimation, and I could be wrong, would be um, a few months. So, would that feel accurate to create... I mean, it was, what, 20 levels or something? Um, you know, so it's 20 levels, a way to tie them together. Uh, a few added... Um, combat moves so I mean is that kind of your estimation is like early summer to have the next update and have it maybe have a a rehash of Lugaro I don't know hopefully faster than that like Ikazi I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it but Ikazi is helping to do the first pass on the levels uh -huh. looking pretty good already so that won't be a big time issue i think okay which makes perfect sense to me since he did all of the uh the challenge levels right in the past yeah so i'm trying to think of ways we can start paralyzing things a little bit more so we can be getting things done faster makes sense sweet so yeah, that's official release date for the next <laughs> build right there. <laughs> Officially unofficial. Yeah, yeah. We should mention that by the way, or I guess I should mention it uh, that there was a build released yesterday, which means that the next uh, Overgrowth Weekly is going to be a proper Overgrowth Weekly with like community stuff and so on, plus the Q and A, of course. So you have that to look forward to in two weeks. But I think that's it, guys, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm anxious to get started on my jam stuff, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I need uh, to talk to you guys a little more about my jam stuff, but excited to work with you for sure. Yeah, Just uh, really quickly, what is? The, can you like, explain the jam for people who don't know what it is? Yeah, um, we're doing um, the uh, jam for Leela. It's um, a jam... Leela Alcorn was a um, Wolfire fan and like a ta pretty talented indie game developer who committed suicide because uh, like 
her parents forced her to like uh, do it like a gender conversion something and um so um some people were throwing um a game jam in memory of her and of course we're going to participate um so the uh the purpose of the jam is just kind of to raise awareness of the issue and um and so we're making a game for it i think it's going to be pretty cool 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 so that's a jam for lila um yeah once again thanks for watching everyone and uh, we will see you in two weeks yep bye and uh see you guys later see you next see time you. bye bye